Hey guys, Rob out here at I'm always in hotwater.com and boats in hotwater.com. And we are out here down there today at Palmetto Bluff. And I have my two little knucklehead kids as we are on summer break. So they are traveling with daddy everywhere as they do every summer, my little water babies. So if they interrupt the video, just kind of bear with me. And let's get right to the crux of the matter. Uh, this is going to be probably a long video and I'll give you my reasoning why. First, a disclaimer, I am not a marine mechanic or a surveyor. And um, let's just put that to bed. This out here today is a 2015 Sea Hunt 27 game fish. And this is a client of mine I've sold a few boats for. And he has just upgraded to a much, much, much bigger boat. And this boat is now up on the market and it is a nice boat and it's gonna be a great boat for somebody to get into a 27 with twin motors uh, with remaining warranty on it at well below market value or below market value. This is a 2015 Sea Hunt 27 game fish and it hails with about 700 hour. It's actually 660 something. I'll have exact details up on the site. He doesn't need the boat anymore. It's just sitting. In fact, we came out here and cleaned it and you know it's a nice boat it's got a few flaws and that's what I'm gonna point out technically you can call this a preliminary video this boat is being picked up by the Hilton Head Boathouse on June 24th for a full service and also a pre-listing walkthrough just to make sure you know flip all the toggle switches and also a detail on the 25th being that everything goes well on the 24th now this boat is technically available for sale now it is any reasonable offer is going to buy this boat now i didn't want to wait until we got to the week before fourth of july to have this boat on the market which is why i came out today with my kids and made them work and clean, help me clean it up so this video may stick if it lasts on the market otherwise after detail and service i'll redo another video so if you want to make an offer on the boat we're willing to work with you uh if you want to waive service and detail and pick it up and get compensated that's fine in a discount or if you want to put a boat under contract and wait until the service is done uh however you guys want to do this we're real open keep in mind there is no trailer in the sale of this vessel so now let's get to the boat. Moving forward in the vessel, as you guys can see the seating, I have just given them a quick scrubbing. As you guys can see, it's got a little bit, it's going in for detail, uh, but honestly, I, I mean, I was just, I can just almost rub this right out. I just don't have the time today to really give this thing, I'm not a detailer, so. Overall, the boat just cleans up real nice. It was very dirty when we walked up to this about an hour and a half ago. Forward, you got a new more windlass built in. Plenty of storage. Keep in mind, personal items are not being conveyed on this vessel. Let's just pop up up top real quick. Garmin closed array. You got Top Gun outriggers. Most of the rigging is going to go with the vessel. Um, I can get clarification on that. Walking to the rear of the vessel. Twin 200s, warranty through uh, 04 2020. Oh, I'm gonna start pointing out flaws. Uh, in here, you guys, you got some chips um, right here. You know, I wanna try and give you guys as much as you know what you're looking at. I don't want you to walk in and it's not a perfect boat. I know this seller, I've seen him on the water. He has fished this boat. And I'll even uh, get to the exterior hull as well. This boat has not been teetotaled. It has been fished and used. Uh, and he has um, definitely gotten his use out of it. But has now upgraded to something uh, a lot bigger. And is going to do a lot deep water fishing. GPS map 7612 XSV. With a partnered with a 7612. A Simrad AP28. You have autopilot on this vessel. Um, Infinity stereo in working condition, your Yamaha tack, trim tabs, auto tether, up here, oh, let's see if I can get it, VHF IM604, all the manuals on the vessel. You guys can see you got a curtain set, 
down here in the head area, the remaining set of the head set. It's, sorry, it's a little messy. But really the whole point of this here is just to give you guys that walkthrough. We were gonna wait till the July 4th weekend to put her up, but I am gonna list her now and we can talk about how anybody wants to do this, whether they want to get it serviced, surveyed, however, whatever you're comfortable with. I just felt like wasting three weeks was ridiculous when everybody's trying to find their deals before 4th of July weekend. Z30, you guys can see right up here. The kids are wreaking havoc. Just to give you guys one more quick look. She's a nice boat. Been well taken care of and like I said, scheduled for that service and detail. All right, now we're just gonna kinda hop off the vessel and I'm gonna cover the exterior hull. I don't, you know, as far as flaws on the interior other than the detail, I really don't have much to complain about. So, let's just kinda give you guys this view. The reason why I do, I'm gonna do this long video, uh, I am one guy handling 50 boats and as a single dad with two kids out of school, um, I don't need any tire kickers. So this is your tire kick and walk through. All right, trim tabs, props. Now, uh, I'll have to check on this uh, Viking to see if that's gonna go. Uh, it might, it might not. Once again, personal items not conveyed. Side door, okay, now. On the boat itself, uh, this was from the previous forklift. As you guys can see, we got a goober right here. You guys see that? It's just so you can get perspective. That is really the only spot that is offensive to me. Um, but you know, it's honestly something. You know, some marine techs, I can fix that right up. You guys can see. You know, you obviously got your through holes. Oh, there. You know, I wanted something else. I wanted to show. Now, what I want to do is I want to move forward and see if I can point out right up in here. See if I can see it. Yeah, here we go. Up on, a little more on this side than the other. I don't know why, but like I said, uh, my client, I know he tries to get into the skinny even with a 27 foot boat. You know, you got some scratches. Uh, once again, most of it will probably buff right out, but just so you know, it is there. Um, for the most part, it's not offensive uh, to me, but it may be to you. So if it's something that you don't like, then, you know, don't buy the boat. All right. And over here, I saw here was, I don't know if it's going to present worse or better in video. Right in this area, you can kind of see where some uh, just cosmetic repairs were done. This was from the from done here the forklift itself um they kind of lost their rubber one day up on those forks on the older forklift so it had done some scratches in so that that was kind of done once again under the water line just cosmetic and that is there so i wanted to point that out as you guys know i don't really pull any punches i i don't know what's going on with all of these things underneath if those are birds or fish or whatever but overall, that's going to be about it. So, Game Fish preliminary video, or it will stand. 2015, 700 hours, Yamaha 200s. Uh, will be priced reasonably, no trailer. Loaded with electronics and features. Warranty into April of next year. And what I'm going to do is just to finish up was something I wanted to show you guys. I just I don't think it matters, but let me just see if I can get up here without losing this camera before my kids ruin. Oh, there's my daughter. Say hi, Mika. Say hi. Hi. Okay. She actually helped clean the boat. She did a good job. All right, down here. Okay. Here you go. So anyway, that'll about do it. Hopefully that covers the bases. Kind of a sloppy video. Not really to the point, but just to give you that walkthrough. Like I said, boat technically is not supposed to be available to July 4th weekend. But I am listing it now, and let's see what we can get figured out. Anyway, that'll close it out. Rob out here at I'mAlwaysInHotWater.com. Wishing you a great and safe boating day. No, honey, you can't get on the boat. Dylan, say hi. 
All right, you guys have a great and safe boating day, and we'll talk. Yes, no, it's not. All right, I got to go. Bye.